Hear the ethereal footsteps built from the blasts of glass and flame and of the enveloping rumble of the engine guiding our goods. Stalking along the steel rails, new passengers are peeping forward, peeping back, cutting up elements. We are set to trail the freight as it tutors sand to glass. Actu Maginoria, here is the history we track. Iron working foundries and forges pouring out their plague of smoke, canals cutting out minerals, making shot from Stourbridge and cannon from Colonel Dud to sink Charles's foes. We play our part in sinkings. Anchors and chains of ill-fated voyages forged in the cradle where blind gin horses walk doleful rounds past houses half swallowed in sinking pits and timber ribs of half decayed corpses. Part-time holdings run by nailers and smiths are black by day and red by night. That old Thatcher Union scrap fucked the red bricked and hard skinned. The patent shaft steel plant flattened for enterprise zones. Holbeck House holds plotters, blarting, keep the black country white. During the day and during the night, fires on all sides light, the landscape in a fiery glow, a perpetual twilight reigns. Slate grey bricks steam up over the stour, occasional rumbles slip across Stamber Mill, engines thud and hiss, long chains clank, tracing the tracks to the round oak steelworks at Briley Hill. That dismal region of mines and forges is one continuous town, down in Marpardos, Shenston, Young and Newbolt, coarsely clad in filthy garments, converse in bleared oaths. Balm pot brothers sprouting, we are looking forward, looking back, we are standing still. The natural is broken by hills of cinders and mine spoils. The echoing green, honeycombed in mining galleries, is almost unknown. And who do we see? He's took his eggs to a fine market, eh? That's how it started as we all drap caught legged. He was a Boston as a bab. Bought me suck on our run home. Lamp that Lomac Baggins, who is big as a bonkos. He's took his eggs to a fine market, eh? The estate closed when the patent shaft was pulled, soaked his severance, baked on bathams, his wench left after that. Grinding jaws and chewed down nails and archives of old magazines, the same old clothes and stinky shoes and the way he looked like he wanted to say, how do, but quickly turned away. But he was always ivering and hovering by the gates, while we was busy making chains and thicken of Apleth dates. He took his eggs and went weretin, blarting like a gleed under the door, while we were eating Tetnal Dick and staring at the floor. He took his eggs to a fine market, and we all drapped cork-legged after that cork-winder he'd him.